What's up guys, I'm LQ, this is the LQ Review. Thank you so much for joining me right here at my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we'd love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows. And let's go ahead and talk about it. Let's talk about Boss Baby 2 Family Business. So me and my family, we watched it on Peacock because it, it was released in theaters, but it was also released on Peacock. So we just watched it here at home. And uh, as somebody who enjoyed the first movie enough like I've never watched it without my kids right it's not a movie where I'm like hey I want to watch boss baby it's not that type of movie but I did enjoy watching it with my kids so as somebody who enjoyed watching it with his kids and as somebody who's seen a couple episodes of the Netflix show I gotta tell you this wasn't really for me this wasn't really for me now my daughter my daughter she's watched all the Netflix shows like she's seen I what is it four or five seasons she's seen them all she loves Boss Baby. And um, she, I got to tell you, she didn't, this really didn't tickle her funny bone either. Like, she didn't seem all that into this. In fact, she's seven years old and she didn't finish the movie. I'm talking about Boss Baby 2 here. So I watched the whole thing and I didn't care for it. My daughter did not get through the whole movie. But my 13-year-old son, he did watch the whole movie and he liked it enough. You know, he told me it's not my favorite movie of the year, Dad, but I liked it. So I was like, okay. So he sat there and finished it with me, and he liked it enough. I don't think it's something he's going to revisit a lot. But, you know, while we were watching it, he was laughing. Um, he especially liked the fact that Jeff Goldblum voices one of the characters. He's a big Jurassic Park fan, and he definitely liked that component of it. Um, you know, Jeff Goldblum just has this voice that everybody knows. And my son immediately picked up on it. So, you know, immediately he's watching a movie that's starring Ian Malcolm. So that's 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 big for him, obviously. Um, for me, there was some catching up to do because, you know, I hadn't seen the Netflix show. And this is it felt like it felt like enough had happened between the first movie and the second movie that without seeing the Netflix show, you're going to be a little bit lost in this. And I felt a little bit lost at the beginning of the movie. The first, the first third of the movie, I just didn't like at all. I was, I was honestly bored by it. You know, we pick up with the two stars for the first movie as grown-ups, and that really caught me off guard. And it kind of made me, like I said, I was kind of bored by it. And then they had to use this, um, this plot device to make our main characters little again. And it took a little bit getting used to there because they, they already had a, an ask of me, uh, the audience member, to accept that they're old now and that they are not tight anymore. That was an ask and, and we rolled with it. But then they have this other ask where they have to accept the fact that they have the technology to make them little again. And it's like, why even introduce them as older if you're just going to make them little again? So that was all kind of, kind of jarring and, and kind of difficult to catch up with. But there was some stuff in in the family dynamics that it honestly felt like you had to have seen the Netflix show to really understand what was happening and what we were watching. Um, the last act of the movie, like the last third, I liked it. I liked it. Once they got into the plot, turning these parents into zombies, finding out that... Um, finding out who our villain is and what his big villainous plot was, even though it was completely ridiculous, it kind of fit in with the, um, kind of fit in with what we know Boss Baby to be. So the first act was awful. The second act was just blah. And then the third act was pretty good. So it did stick the landing as far as I was concerned, but the problem was it took so long to get there and you had to suffer so much to get there that it just wasn't something that I was able to enjoy as much because I was already kind of put off by the first part of the movie. I think that if my daughter would have stuck it out, she might have liked it more because like I said, that last act was a lot more palatable. The 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 last maybe 25 30 minutes of the movie was a lot was a lot more palatable. And uh, maybe maybe last 35 minutes or so. And I really feel like if you can get there, you're going to have a good time. But it's work to get there. Um, so for me, yeah, it was just, it wasn't a, a very good outing for the boss baby. Um, you know, I'm going to give this movie a C-minus. 
it wasn't offensive. It's not the worst thing I've seen this year. And like I said, once I got to the third act, there was enough there that I liked and I laughed a few times. Um, it was just really, really hard to get there. So C minus, you know, not the worst thing I've seen. Definitely not anywhere near the best thing that I've seen. It was just, it was, a, it was very forgettable. It was a very forgettable movie. And that's too bad because even though I, I, I wouldn't necessarily call the first one a good movie, the first one was at least memorable enough that memorable enough that I've only seen it two or three times and I still remember what happened in that movie. This time next year, I'm going to have forgotten what happened in Boss Baby 2. That's just the reality. So C minus for me. What did you think of Boss Baby 2? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your take on it. While you're down there commenting, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I do put out a lot of content and want to make sure that you're up to date with everything that I'm doing. And as always, thank you so much for joining me right here at the OQ Review, where we get to talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you guys later.